Hey guys, top secret exposed. As Atiku drops shocking announcement reveals why G5 governors supported Tinubu, which Nigerians are not aware. This is really very shocking. Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Atiku Abubakar, a former vice president and candidate for the presidency of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has claimed that some former governors who oppose him while they were in office are still being protected from persecution by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Due to their negotiations with Bola Tinubu's administration, Atiku pointed out that the so-called PDP G5 governors were now asking the Tinubu-led government for appointment and protection from persecution. Okeze Ikbazo of Abia State, Ifani Ugwanya of Enugu State, Samuel Ortom of Benue State, and Governor Shei Makinde of Oyo State make up the, B the PDP G5 governor who are led by the former governor Yes, some wiki. According to Sahara reporters, the G5 governors and their supporters, including the former governor of Ikiti State, I of Fayoshi, declined to take part in the PDP presidential campaign as a result of disagreement with the opposition party during the presidential primaries. In a statement issued through his special assistant on public communication, Frank Shaibu, the former vice president, referred to the administration of former Benue State Governor Samuel Ortom as the worst in the Nigerians' history and noted that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, had a Mantonian's case filed against him for corruption. He insisted that the five PDP Governor's decision to oppose his run for president in 2023 was not motivated by patriotism. Because of their connections to the G5, he revealed that either Autumn nor Okeze Ikbazo would face charges from the EFCC, adding that this was the state they had reduced the nation to. Article said, I of I say should have been bolder and campaigned for President Bola Tinubu and the All Progressive Congress APC in the last election. He was responding to the former governor of Ikiti State's comment on why he did not endorse the PDP presidential candidate. In his remarks, Article said that the former governor of Ikiti State was just chasing Tinubu's. 1.5 billion corruption lawsuit before the federal high court. Nigerians, these people just they drag us back. These the same people they go come tell us say they won't fight corruption, no. but they are the worst corrupt humans on earth. Okay, tell me how this Nigeria go take good. All of them they are just running around in a secular form. They just they run, that is, they just they, they run round. These people continue to jump from pillar to post because they know themselves. You understand? They don't want to be proved. Once they see, say, they are, they not fee stay here again or they don't, they, they know they they relevant again for that side. They go run to the other party. Okay, tell me how the country could still take good. Because these are still the same people that is, you know, ruining this country. Now they still they rule. They just they <laughs> they just they what is it called? Uh circulate it. You understand? Nigeria can only be better. When we have fresh people, who will let these people know that this country belongs to them? You understand? So, guys, before I edit now, 
So this is the reason why the G5 governors worked for, you know, Tinubu, just for the government to cover cover them up, according to Atiku Abubakar, the former vice president and the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party (PDP). Atiku Abubakar has stated that some of the former governors under the PDP who worked against him have ongoing corruption cases at the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission (EFCC) but are being shaded because of their parallel with the Bola Tinubu's presidency. Atiku noted that the so-called PDP G5 governors were not seeking appointments and protection from persecution from Tinubu-led federal government. The PDP G5 governors, led by the former governor Yetson Wike, Aokeze Ikbazo of Abia State, Ifan Uguaya of Enugu State, Samuel Ortom of Benue State, and Governor Sheima Kinde of Oyo State. Sarah reporters had reported that the G5 governors, alongside their allies, including the former governor of Ekiti State, Ayo Fayoshi, had refused to be part of the PDP presidential campaign due to differences between them and the opposition party in the aftermath of the presidential primary. So the vice president, in a release through his special assistant on public communication, Frank Sheibu described the administration of the former Benue State Governor Samuel Ortom as the worst in Nigeria's history, noting that his corruption case filed at the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission (EFCC) was maintenance. Let's see how the government will fight the corruptions. Nigerians are watching. So guys, let's hear from you. Thank you for always watching.